beautiful kava bowl and i fried me some low carb tortilla chips put lime season on them and that's what we gonna eat with our bowl who loves kava i absolutely love this y'all um i did record you know what is in this bowl so stay tuned for that video absolutely delicious what's up yummy vice welcome back to another episode of yummy vice tv y'all already see what i'm doing a car mukbang who's happy let me know in the comments <laughs> all right y'all um uh, let me see let's pray amen and y'all i am drinking what is y'all having in this cup um i am drinking a flavored water y'all i think this is the mango this is a, a, a mango one, y'all. I don't even remember which one it is, y'all, but. Uh -huh. Yes, y'all. I think I was supposed to do it before. But anyway, this is delicious. Okay? Absolutely delicious. Um, all right, so are y'all ready? Are y'all ready, Freddie? I'm going to put some of this all over all over y'all know i already tasted this for y'all y'all gonna get that clip before y'all even get the mukbang baby oh y'all i was craving this i swear this place is perfect for people on the keto diet Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Bomb. Stick. Mmm. bread that i used to love i got these now and i think it's a perfect substitute y'all perfect so i honestly don't even miss it i don't miss the pre pita bread i used to love it but girl as soon as i can substitute it i don't miss it mm-hmm mm. And tomorrow, we're going to do something else I'm craving. We're definitely going to do something else I'm craving. Mmm. 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 I got the harissa chicken, y'all. I almost got the honey, honey chicken or something. And then I had to think, I'm like, wait a minute, I can't have this. <laughs> it got honey in it. <laughs> mm. I almost got it though. Mm. love to say it's a beautiful day but it's been gloomy all day all day it hasn't rained Marshall at the house on the pit y'all he was supposed to be on that pit two days ago but he decided to do it today so yay <laughs> mm. 
But yeah, it's almost like we barbecue so much to where I don't really be that excited when we barbecue. Unless somebody is coming over and we're going to be chilling outside. You know what I'm saying? Doing that type of thing. I'm excited for that. But when it's just us and he barbecue, like. <laughs> Yo, we literally had barbecue in there from the last time we barbecued. Has anybody else barbecue that much? Mmm. <laughs> Girl. This is too good. Y'all, actually, I was going to do something else today. Something at home. Um, I don't know if y'all would have appreciated it or not. Oh. Mm. I was going to reuse. Not reuse, but use the leftover chicken strips I made yesterday to make something else, actually. <laughs> Can anybody guess what it is that I was going to make? I swear, if somebody gets this, like, I'm going to be shocked. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I got a clip on top of that I want to discuss. I hope I remember both of them by the time I start talking about them. Mm. One was, is, um, what is that? Married at First Sight, y'all. Remember I told you I started watching that, right? It's the episode that they filmed in Houston. I still haven't finished it. And y'all it's an asian couple on there oh my god the sun is coming out first time today it's an asian couple y'all it was on there and when i tell you okay so they're like getting um getting to know each other okay right now they're living in the same apartment they're at that stage to where they're living in the same apartment y'all already know what just in case who doesn't know um married at first sight is they get married they don't know each other the first time they see each other is at the altar okay so as soon as they get married after that they're literally getting to know each other they're getting married first they're kind of doing it backwards they get mar married first and then dating after that but they're already married okay And this Asian girl was talking to her husband. Just opening up, letting him know, know what the deal is, something, you know, things that might irritate him about, you, you know, stuff that she does. And guess what she freaking said, y'all? She says, and let me give you just a little backstory. Ever since they got married, she hasn't wanted to have sex with him. She says in her past that that has been the first thing that they did. And then they would get to know each other after that. And she wanted to do this differently. And baby, he... Her husband is like a really touchy person, really affectionate, and she's not good with that at all. So, they're clashing in that area. Anyway, so she's talking to him, and she's like, You know, sometimes, you know, I may be depressed, and showers are not my main concern. 
And she says, even when she's not depressed, sometimes showers are not her main concern. She may get in the bed without taking a shower. Um, mind you, he's clean. He's clean. And he feels like you should always take a bath before you get in the bed. The amount of people I've heard say if they don't take a bath every day is alarming. Like if I was dating, that would be one of the questions, honey. Since after finding out how many people don't like taking baths every day, that would be one of the requirements. Do you take a bath every day? I need to know. Do you take a bath before you get your behind in the bed at night? That's a deal breaker for me. Straight up. Deal breaker. Mm. And he's looking at her crazy like, I would rather for you to take a bath before you hopped in the bed. She said sometimes she just comes home in the clothes she's been in all day and keeps those clothes on and gets in the bed, girl. Certain things don't need to be on TV. Girl, everybody do not need to know that about you. Now, how disgusting. And maybe she doesn't know that that's disgusting. You know? Um, I feel like everybody is a stank monster. When it all, if you've been all day without a bath, you stank. I don't care who you are. I don't care how clean you think you are. Mm -mm. That is so nasty. And what if your man wanted to have relations? You know what I'm saying? Before y'all go to bed. You gonna give him relations with your all day funk on? Because you are wearing some funk, baby. And you need to take it off. Like... Mm. Mm. I, don't, I just don't understand it, y'all. Like, all day without a bath. You gotta be sticky. And if you're not, you gotta be funky. And your underarms may not be funky. But baby... And you a woman? You know, a lot of women like to say, you know, I don't smell. I never smell. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't believe it. I don't believe out of your entire life, if you're a woman of a certain age, that you have never smelled. Like, mm -hmm. maybe you just got to be older to know that you need a bath before you get in your sheets. Like, I knew that when I was young, though. Like, I have always, always. Y'all, I don't remember a time that I've ever gotten in my sheets, got up under them daggone sheets without taking a bath. Is somebody running from the police? Y'all gotta check my surroundings now. My doors are locked. Anyway. Um, yeah, I can't remember a time, y'all. I literally, I don't care how tired I am. 
It didn't matter. I could literally not be able to walk, but I would want to take a bath. Or a if I can't stand up, baby, I'm getting in the tub. That's the last resort. Because you know women shouldn't be sitting in no tub. But y'all, I don't know. That's just, whoo, girl, are you serious right now? It ain't no freaking way. Mm. I need y'all's opinion, y'all. I might be switching things up on this channel. Y'all tell me what y'all think because y'all are the ones watching. I was thinking about doing live mukbangs. What do y'all think about that? Live mukbangs, y'all. Every day, live mukbangs. <laughs> What do y'all think about that? Me and Marisha are talking about it. And I was like, mm. you know what I'm saying? It might be a good idea. It might be a good idea. Just to switch things up, try something new. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing the same thing for... Ever since I started, y'all, I've been doing the same exact thing. Mm. Does anybody else have any type of suggestions besides that? Because I want to switch it up, y'all. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about either that or doing, like, cooking segments on the channel instead of my vlog channel. Just keep it at vlogs on the vlog channel. And do cooking on this channel. I don't know how I'm gonna um it'll be more of a setup, you know what I'm saying? Cooking. Um, if I put it on this channel. So which one y'all live mukbangs are cooking on this channel. Cooking segments. What y'all think? I don't know. I've definitely been thinking about it. I know definitely I could do live mug bangs. Mm. The only reservation I have with live mug bangs is my family gonna have to, you know, learn how to not say certain things, you know. Everything that goes on in my house is not for the public. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. Mm. and if I do black mukbangs. It's not going to be through my phone. Okay, it's going to be like a more professional setup. But we're going to see y'all. We are going to see. Mmm. I definitely want y'all's feedback on it, though. Mmm. Oh, 
girl, am I getting full? Am I getting full? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I got all my nutrients in this bowl. Another topic, y'all. Y'all, did y'all hear about that lady who brought her? I believe it was it her uncle into a bank. I think it was today, y'all. She brought her uncle into the bank, y'all, in a wheelchair, and he was passed away, trying to get him to sign for a loan. I heard it was for $3,500, $2,500 or $3,500, something like that. I do I do not know. That all could be wrong, allegedly, y'all. But it ain't alleged that she took, brought him in a wheelchair, y'all, in the bank. Head back like this. She trying to hold his head up. His hands is flailing. Y'all, the man was not alive. Okay, she was trying to guide his hand to sign the papers. She asking the <clears throat> the person, the bank person, um, is this good enough? Y'all, the man wasn't here with us. He was <clears throat> come to find out, y'all. This man had died earlier that day, and she brought him in there, not alive, y'all. Are things not getting crazy? I ain't never in my life heard of anything like that. I was shocked. I was shocked, y'all. Anyway, they ended up uh, coming. I don't know who called the police. It must have been one of the bank people. Police ended up coming, arresting her. And it's really hard to believe that she did not know that that man was not alive anymore. And uh, they trying to, you know, see if any of the other family was involved. Like if it was that somebody unalived him or he just, you know, passed away. Like, oh my God. So she could get alone, y'all. And she wanted him to sign for it. This is, this is the saddest thing. People are sick. I'm gonna say he was, uh, did she say he was tired or something or he was sick or something, y'all? If I was, uh, was the, the person working at the bank, I would've been like, let me check his post. Like, girl, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you crazy? She wasn't worried about that man. She was worried about him signing that paper. And him being up enough to sign the freaking paper. Paper. <laughs> She'd be under the freaking jail. Under it. Under it. Mm. And I'm 
can't even believe that the the bank even dealt with that for however long they did. You know, like, well, y'all really gonna let this man sign this thing with her hand guiding his? <laughs> Literally crazy. Mm. Y'all, I wish I could talk to y'all about everything that's going on. But I literally can't. Like, that's just a lot freaking going on. Y'all got stuff in my teeth. I can't wait to get home to clean my freaking teeth. Like, oh my God. Mmm. Got somebody smoking weed outside. <laughs> I'm looking right at him. Like, what in the hell? <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Did y'all watch the uh, Jaguar Wright um, interview that I told y'all to watch? Girl, Jaguar, honey, and she is a motor mouth, baby. Like, girl, ask her. She'll tell it all, honey. I'm just surprised that she's still here with us. To be honest, I am shocked. She's been saying a lot, and people don't think she's crazy anymore. Like, she was crazy before. Uh, that's what people thought. Jaguar, right? Is not crazy. And she speaks the truth. I believe she speaks the truth. About everything she be talking about. She said, hell yeah, I was at the Diddy parties. And they wanted to know what was going on at the Diddy parties, baby. And she was telling it, honey. What did she say? She said money and sex. I was like, what? That's what be going on at the parties? Like, I don't be drinking and eating food and stuff? Like, <laughs> Girl. Yeah, yeah, that's my last freaking bite, baby, because I am... Mm. Mm. All right, this is it. <laughs> Let me get my pepper. So Mercer's doing some um, barbecue pork chops. Last time we did barbecue pork chops, y'all, they was banging. Um, 
but y'all, I think I've been doing good as far as pork goes. And I do mean really good. I used to eat pork all the time. I have really cut it down. But I think I may be eating some bacon tomorrow. I don't know. Either I'm going to be eating bacon or I'm going to be eating pork chops. So, you know. I'm going to try to keep it down to like once a month. Or even less than that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, we're not doing that on the chin, baby. That ain't what we're doing. Mm. That is it, baby girl. Mmm. Ignore the dangers, honey. I did my best. I gotta take this in the house and clean it. Y'all, my whole car. They cleaned my entire car. Like, I had, not I had, the kids had water bottles all in the back on the floor. Water bottles stuck up under the seats. They cleaned all of that. I'm like, what the hell? What in the actual hell? Just cleaning my car in itself would had to have been a lot. Like, he literally fixed the damage and cleaned my car. I was so thankful. This drink got a lot of twang today. Okay. Is, was that mango peach? What is that for? Anyway. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Instagram, TikTok, and the Family Vlog channel, okay? Make sure y'all let me know what what y'all think um i should do or give me some suggestions uh of switching it up on this channel um and yeah y'all like it's that season you know it's, it's it's time to switch it up it's time um you know that's a it's a pretty big decision like when you want to switch up your youtube channel like that's a pretty big decision it's a big deal you know because you just never know how it's gonna go um but yeah we'll we'll see you know we'll see anyway uh 10 out of 10 we'll recommend that bowl okay 10 out of mother flipping 10 i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do what thumbs up this video subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. hey, 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 uh, uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. Love y'all.